Hey guys, this is a video for you guys who are having trouble uh, restoring and down or and or downgrading your iPhones and iPod Touches. Um, when you restore it, it will give you that error, right? So, uh, say you're on 3.1.3 and you want to downgrade it, and uh, you've already downloaded the firmware, the correct firmware, and you know it's correct, and so you restore it, or you try to at least, and then uh, it's extracting and everything's working, but once it says it's verifying the signature, it will give you this error, alright, I'm going to tell you how to fix that error, so that it won't, so it will let you restore your, and or downgrade your iPhones and iPod touches. Okay, so let's let this extract. Okay, now it's verifying the restore with Apple. And after this, this is where the error will come up. Okay, there's the error. The iPod, my name, and then uh, could not be restored. This device isn't eligible for the request field. That's the error. And it'll just keep popping up no matter what you do. So I'm just going to press OK. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. Alright. All I have to do is open up my computer. Okay. Then you want to go into Windows. And then System 32. Right here. System 32. And then you want to go into Drivers. Right here. And then open the etc folder. So this is the file you want. Hosts, not the host ic ics. You don't want that one. You want the original host file. You want to open that with Notepad. Just double click it, and then just select Notepad or um the or is it or the WordPad, whichever one. So I'm gonna click Notepad, and this should come up. Now, what you want to do is you want to look in the description, and there should be uh, text, this right here. This, I'll put this in the description. You want to take this and copy it, and then you want to go inside the, the host file, and you want to go down and then paste it inside here, okay? And that's it. All I have to do is just save it and exit it out, and that's all. It's really easy, okay? And go ahead and exit this out too. Want to go back in iTunes and try the restore again. If you're downgrading, you'll want to press Shift, the Shift key, and restore. And what this will do is it will pop up this thing so you can find your uh, your firmware that you downloaded. Uh, I'll have a also have a link in the description to this website, um, modmyeye.com. It has a whole bunch it has pretty much all the firmwares that are out there pretty sure so just download the 3.1.2 or whatever one you want to use and you click it and you open it up and um, it'll work I'll really I don't I would do this but I don't want to because I don't want to restore my iPod <laughs> my iPod touch I did this before so um, it works I promise you it works I tried it with the iPhone 3GS, it was an MC model, and it was on 3.1.3, but because it was the newest model, it just came out, um, the newest model for iPhone 3GS, then it did not work, so that's the only model that did not work for this, and uh, I will have a video later on, on how to actually downgrade and jailbreak an iPhone 3GS, that's MC model, and has not been jailbroken before. I'll have a video on that later. But other than that, all the other models work. Okay, so just restore it and it'll work. Okay, thanks for watching.